Welcome to Creatively Using the Create Suite. Here's your host, Eric Burnskill. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Creatively Using the Creative Suite podcast. My name is Eric Burnskill, and this week we are going to take a look at a photo editing technique. It's been a while since we've taken a look at a photo, and today I want to talk all about LAB color space. Now, this might throw you off a bit. If you haven't been working with LAB before, you might be wondering and asking me, what is LAB really? Well, LAB stands for lightness and then A and B. So A and B are two color channels containing different colors, both of them, while L just contains the lightness of the overall image. So it's just a black and white copy. Today, we're gonna do some photo editing that utilizes this LAB color mode. And all you need to do to get into LAB is go to Image, Mode, and LAB Color. Once here, it's going to switch over. You're not going to notice any immediate differences right now. But when we start working on it now, we'll see some enhancements that we can make. So I'm going to go and add an adjustment layer. and I'm going to add a curves layer here. And if I bring out my adjustments panel here, You'll see that when we do the lightness channel here, we, we have some extra control and it's as we're doing curves just to the lightness. Now remember, we're not doing it to the entire image per se, we're just doing it to the lightness. We have to be much more careful than we would have been otherwise. So let's add this curves adjustment here and then let's go on to A and B. So you're gonna see if I pull the right top right hand corner away in, you're gonna see that's the magenta and down at the bottom is the kind of a, a greenish tint here. So if I drag this in and with this more complex grid system here, if I drag this in, let's say one here, we're gonna add some saturation, but we've added it to, to the, um, this color here and if I add drag in as much here the magenta side we balance this out again but we've kind of saturated both and if I do the same with B and this is something I'd say was a preset see um, you can vary this with different grid widths here so you'll you get some different results and different strength but if I show you the before and after here you're using some in definitely increased uh, contrast, of course, over the overall image compared to without. And if I bring up the layers panel here and hide, you will see the incredible difference that this makes. It's really brought out a lot more color in the image, a lot more contrast in the image. And the final thing we could talk about is sharpening in LAB too. So when we've done the curves correction in LAB, before we leave LAB, and Guam, we want to make sure, go into your channels here and you want to target lightness. Because we can work with the lightness, which is black and white only, we can eliminate any color artifacts when we do the sharpening that we normally do to the entire channel in RGB. So we can eliminate this in A and B and just go into lightness. And by going and applying the filter sharpen and unsharp mask, we can do some sharpening. I'm going to try not to over sharpen this too much, but I'm going to leave it at quite a bit so you can see, so you can really see some before and after here. And that's more subtle. So let's see here. This is going to show, I hope, before, after, before, and after. And if I go back in, you're, you're, we have a really sharpened image which has got a lot of color and contrast in it. So definitely go try out LAB and when you're done you can always go right back in by going to image mode and go back to RGB. And now the bad thing is it's gonna really throw away that adjustment layer. So you, you'd want to flatten that if you really want to save out RGB. So you'd have to save out a new copy and flatten. But keep an LAB, work on it and get some of the benefits by doing some photo editing in the LAB mode. So try it out. That's it for this week's episode of the Creatively Using the Creative Suite podcast. My name is Eric Burnsgild. I'll see you back next week. Bye-bye.